So I'm thrilled today to invite the Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, uh, Nigel Atkinson, and Cadet Sergeant Peaceful to the Exclaimer Head Office here in Farnborough in the United Kingdom. Now today's celebration really is the formal presentation of the Queen's Award for Industry and specifically international trade during 2020. This has allowed us really to put a spotlight on the business, really highlighting the skills, the dedication and the innovation of the staff within Exclaimer during the course of the past few years. Now this award allows us to obviously reflect on the history of Exclaimer and the achievements that we've made, but actually more importantly allows us to have a platform for future growth where we can promote the award both domestically and internationally and also show the original British origins of this company. Now this is a very prestigious award for us and I look forward to celebrating this with the entire team as we look to come together in order to toast and celebrate the success of this business. Bringing people together at the right time, allowing us to discuss the, the history, the anecdotes and the folklore, if you like, within Exclaimer that's been woven into the fabric of this business that's ultimately created the culture that we have in the business today. Now, for me to receive this award today is an absolute honour, but I receive it on behalf of the entire company. And I thank all of the staff within Exclaimer for the contributions that they've made during the course of the many years that they've been here. But I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank all of our partners and our customers for the support that they've given in playing a part of this success for us. Thank you all so very much. Mr Davis, uh, gentlemen, um, good morning. Today is a very special award presentation. It is a huge honour for me to be able to present you uh, with your Queen's Award on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Thank you for a very warm welcome. And uh, I'm very sorry that it's taken me so long to, to come here and present you with your award. Um, but with the various lockdowns and the restrictions placed on us, you obviously understand. I thought I would start by just telling you all about uh, the Queen's Award uh, for Enterprise. The Queen's Award for Enterprise uh, has been operating in various forms uh, since 1966, and we're in its 55th year. And it's developed over the years into its current format, comprising four categories of award. Now, the Queen's Award for Enterprise are the UK's most prestigious awards, and it's designed to recognise and encourage outstanding achievements of United K, UK businesses in the fields of international trade, which of course why we're here today, innovation, sustainable development, and promoting opportunity through social mobility. Her Majesty the Queen makes the award on the advice of the Prime Minister, who is assisted by an advisory committee that includes representatives of government, industry, commerce and trade unions. And the awards are announced annually on the Queen's birthday on the 21st of April. I must say I was astounded at how many awards you've won since 2010. And when you scroll down the website and see them, so I just keep repeating myself, this is the most prestigious, even <laughs> though you have won so many others. Um, but it, it's quite an outstanding list. Um, I was also interested to see how important your partner network were for you. And so clearly um, you're very customer focused and it's, that's absolutely in your DNA. And I guess that is, is in, so important to you. So I congratulate you. It's always uh, the chairman or the chief exec who gets all the accolades, but I would like to make a special point that it's actually it's the workforce and everyone who works within your company uh, that deserves this award as well and uh, many congratulations to them. So, I'm delighted to be able to present you with the Queen's Award for Enterprise International Trade on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Thank Very you very well much. done. Thank you.